You're live. I can't when like they do the thumbnail thing. I can't. I'm just like, I keep like doing stupid faces and I'm just like, fuck you. Um, because I was thinking then it would give like a vibe for exactly what's up. So I'm feeling sassy pants. We'll see if anybody comes. Um, I don't really have, oh, topic of discussion. The two videos I made earlier, I mean, the two topics I had earlier speak truth to power. Um, I can suss that out with myself if no one is here. Um, speaking truth to power and then um, cages. So things shouldn't be in cages. Um, you know what's so funny about my hair? Hat head, like, does my hair good. So we're going to do hat head for a second. Um, oh, yeah, and then my Stuart Wild notes. Let me get my Stuart Wild notes. I love looking, like, slightly crazy. Haha, <laughs> -ha, I'm going to tell my friend who's texting me that I'm live. <laughs> telling two people and then getting my notes for us un momento por favore and like I say to the boys na 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 in an ore. it means something I don't know what but something I love when I can be so ridiculous that the notes are. Hold on. I folded my laundry, so don't even. It's not even about that. Okay, I have to remember the notes from my head. Oh, here they are. Um. So this is from Stuart Wilde's, what did I listen to in the last two days? I listened to Silent Power, the audiobook of Silent Power. Okay. And then uh, also um, Intuition. And then I fell asleep to 33 Laws, Infinite Self. I thought it was so weird because I didn't know anything about like Mason stuff. I'm like, somebody wrote like that they loved Stuart Wilde too. And they thought it was weird that he died on it, that he died on like a, some kind of Mason holiday or some shit. And I was like, I feel like that motherfucker explored everything. And then I was like, why is infinite self 33? Hi, San Francisco. What you doing? San Francisco Bay Bridge. I've been there. I love San Francisco. I thought I wouldn't. Um, I heard it was like always cold and stuff. And I went there twice. I think somebody mentioned San Francisco like the last time. Oh, I have a good friend that lives in San Francisco. Well, she lives in, um, what do you call it? it starts with a B. And they had a very important uh, agreement that um, had to do with immigration. Birmingham. Woohoo! Okay, so Stuart Wilde is amazing. Do you know about Stuart Wilde? It's just too many people don't know about Stuart Wilde. So, um, Silent Power, and these are notes I took from Silent Power and from. Intuition. Okay. So express goodness that helps people. I love how Stuart Wilde is like such a like boss and a badass, but he talks so much about love and about heartfulness. No, it's, um, uh, it's shit. I just said it, didn't I? 
It's uh, Beringer. No, that's a wine. That's like a cheap wine. Birmingham. Birmingham. They've got a restaurant in San Francisco proper, though. Okay. Um, simplicity of the heart. Simplicity is like a message I've been getting all week. Like, if you think about anything that's really, I don't know, for me, anything that feels uncomfortable or not, or like, you know, I, I do this thing where when I'm not stubborn, which I'm working on, I have a lot of character defects, but one that I'm working on is like this pride, stubborn thing. It's somewhere in between pride and stubbornness about certain like stuff. And um, what made me think of that? Oh, anything. Okay, so surrendering to God, like, and knowing that acceptance slash surrender are the answer to all my questions. Anytime, the longer I wait before I either surrender something or accept something is the longer I'm just going to stay in guaranteed suffering, complicating stuff with like our thoughts. So he was talking about simplify everything um the heart oh yeah the heart manifests things with effortless strength awareness it's like awareness versus the ego this was a whole bit strengthening um the psyche by embracing attitudes be strong. I wrote strong twice. So strong must be important. I beg your pardon. Burlingham. Exactly. She's Israeli though. So she says it a little bit funny, but that's not why I didn't remember it. I just didn't remember it. I do remember though, there's a um, two red like lion dragons that kind of look Chinese, which is sort of funny. And there was a um, act, um, a Burlingham act it, that affected people, Japanese people, before or after Pearl Harbor, and basically, this the documentary that I saw was about a man that lived in Burlingham or San Francisco, but it was the Burlingham Act of something, 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 where he went back to Japan for a month and then couldn't come back into the United States, and it happened to a lot of Japanese people. And it was kind of like a weird, fucked up, intentional thing. Back to Store Wild. Strong, strong, strong. Feel strength. People like controlled strength. What is power? What is power really? Many crave to be special. I think it's a really, uh, I mean, it's kind of funny the amount of material that I am very specific about ingesting that being like YouTube people I listen to or people that I spend time with or communicate with that are maybe not wanting this for themselves, but are in alignment with like this whole, like wanting to be famous. Like I have never, ever had that. The only reason I've ever wanted to bring attention to myself is to bring bodies into my yoga schools, because that's what I learned from the business mentor that I worked with. And that's what social media was about and websites and all that other shit. And that was to be of service to other human beings, not like to do my own dance and show like a lot of yoga teachers do. Um, so I think it's a benefit are kind of like we all start at different places, but I'm saying I think it's like a a plus or like a, a kind of like a benefit if you don't have a desire. What does he say? Many crave to be special and like um, follow mass media. He was talking about that. You know, it's funny because I'm a Leo and yeah, they had to go there. They either, like, it was, like, fucked up. They couldn't go back to Japan or something. Or if they went back to Japan, they would be, like, deported and basically treated like criminals. So then, like, all these people, like, imagine fucking going home from your life in San Francisco to, like, visit your mom in Japan for a minute or a month. 
And then you get back and you give them your fucking passport. And they're like, oh, sorry. While you were gone, we made an act, which means you can't go home and you can't stay here. (laughs) Fucking hell. The documentary was like a drawing and it had, we won't forget it. It had a man and he was kind of, especially for like a Japanese man, he was kind of portly. And the man was like traveling across the world and they showed him like on the plane, like going to Japan and then like spending time. (laughs) There's a character and he was like, you know, he walked like that. And so he was walking or, you know, and then he flew back and (laughs) have you seen that? Sad and criminal. Um, so many things fucking are. But Store Wild is trying to what he was doing while he was alive was trying to explain. Okay, so Store Wild and Osho have been pulling on my heartstrings lately. And way too many people don't know about them. And they were super visionary and super before their time. So um, I think a lot of the information in their discourses can help us now and is super relevant right now. Um, controlling ego is, is, is as simple as, oh, controlling the ego. This was important. Controlling the ego is much more simple than satisfying the ego. And so just a quick segue into that, like, This is about self-mastery. The ego will never be satisfied. Like, it was very funny the way he said it. I advise everyone to listen and buy buy every book Stuart Wilde ever wrote. Please not from Amazon. And he's got all the audio books on YouTube. And they're free. So you can listen if you don't want to read. But he was talking about, he's like, just the way he talks so funny. He's like, if you think about it, you know, mastering your ego, conquering it is much easier than what is inherently impossible, which is satisfying your ego, because that will never, ever happen. Accept yourself and acknowledge yourself. Psychological consideration, walking, oh, walking, this is an important thing. And I forgot Stuart Wilde said it. He talks about how human, about, you know, the optimal state for a human body's internal circumstances, mental circumstances, subtle body circumstances, anatomical circumstances, physiological, is to be without fear, to be without stress. He talked about how if some people could just consider that walking, just the act of walking is controlled falling. Every time you're walking, you're stopping your, like every time you take a step, you're stopping yourself from falling. So it's an interesting thing. Like if we look because, and he talks about logic in a second, but because like maybe to unwire, or unprogram ourselves in some ways, we can see things through. I'll leave that there. Stop leaving, uh, Stop leaving exercise control. Stop leaving. Oh, stop leaning. Stop leaning on people. Stop needing people. Stop leaning on people. Exercise control. Stand straight in life. Take time each day. Oh, take time each day to make the now special. Start a diary of your life so you don't, oh, start something, something. Don't lean on people. Don't lean. Don't lean. Um, oh, and he talks about something which I've heard of and I'm sure from him. So I found out about Sir Wild a long time ago. Uh, the wanting attacks like work towards not needing fucking anything in life that you can't provide for yourself, that you can't make for yourself, that you can't uh, attain very easily for yourself. Um, So it's called the wanting attacks. 
uh, when in doubt, lean out. He said, when in doubt, lean out. Um, stay in control. Don't, um, don't show weakness. Be <laughs> He's so cute. I love the way he speaks. Don't show weakness. He's like South African. Well, he's born in South Africa and grew up in London. So his accent's quite unique. He's like, uh, don't show weakness. Be strong. Be brave. I'll see you in the next chapter. <sighs> Silent talking. Control the need to talk. Um, don't discuss personal details. I was like thinking about my YouTube channel when I was listening to this. I was like, I might just take this a whole different direction. Don't allow people to talk about self unless asked. Oh, don't talk about yourself unless asked. Keep quiet. I was like, what would that look like? In my YouTube videos, I'll just be like, hey. <laughs> um, choose words carefully. I think I do that. Most powerful way to speak is with brevity. And I know this. Most powerful way to speak is with brevity. Most powerful way to speak is with brevity. Don't compete. Just listen. Style of dialogue is in between the words. Learn more about people. Listen. Stand tall for people. Get under others so that they can talk. Yeah, this whole concept of like, and I think I naturally do this. My dad, I think I like sort of like it was a behavior. Like my dad would, I'll just tell you what I do. Um, I remember at some point in life learning that if someone's above you, then like you're showing them respect. So even like the people, like people in my life that have been, whatever. I always try to, if there is a situation where one of us has to be higher, I try to be lower. Um, but he was talking about getting under people and just staying humble so that people can feel comfortable talking to you and not, not to the end of, um, wanting to get information, but just being a good human being like self-mastery, never talk to impress people. Um, <laughs> well, I don't think he's the one that came up with this. He goes, remember, you're a genius until you open your mouth. Um, what is my best response? I Oh, he said, Okay, so this is one thing that's pretty consistent with behavior analysis that I've watched on a, like from what I've extrapolated. When people's eyes shift down into a diagonal and usually to the left, they're most likely lying. But uh like 90, but that's not their percentage in there. Uh, they're, they're not comfortable if they're shifting their eyes down. And if they go to a diagonal quickly and to the left, they're probably being dishonest. Ask questions. Pause. Take people, uh, talk to people with feelings. Oh, this is cool. He's like, when you're talking to someone... Most people are just waiting for their turn to talk, okay? So this video isn't for them. He's like, when you're talking to people, and, I, and I'm like, this is totally a different thing than my like not giving advice thing. When you talk to people, pause. Like, be with them. He said, everyone knows the answer to their own question. And it's such a gift if you can just be there with that person. And I don't want to say hold space because that sounds so banal, but not rush to think you have an answer when most likely you fucking don't. It's someone else's life. 
and the whole principle that we all have our own answers inside us and that maybe just sometimes we need another soul to be without agenda and with us and next to us for that to uh be understood to us or accessible. Always try to lift other people up. At minimum, be neutral. I like this a lot. Always try to lift people up. At the bare minimum, be neutral. No argue, no debate. Leave the intellect alone. Non-action, non-action, non-action. This goes back to the Tao. I think this is where, yeah, effortless flow, Wu Wei. Wait, how's it spelled? Working in effortless flow. Life was never meant to be a struggle. Life was never meant to be a struggle. Life is never meant to be a struggle. That's a total fucking racket. Um, this whole glorification of like, struggling really hard to get into college, struggling really hard through college, struggling really hard at some crap ass job, struggle like, no, it's a lie. I never believed that. <laughs> he said, there's no honor in this struggle. Effort is natural, like in nature. It's not, effort is natural. Struggle is not. Move away from resistance and towards simplicity. Away from resistance towards simplicity. No forcing. Yeah, Wu Wei. The Tao principle of Wu Wei. Um, content with what you are and who you are. So that's kind of like Santosha, right? Um, yamas and Niyamas in the Eight Lands of Yoga. Settled, no pushing, no forcing. Subtle feeling that one something, I don't know, that's it. Oh, these are, okay, so this, these are some things we can do to increase silent power. Go for a 24 hour talking fast. Don't talk for 24 hours. I think I should do that. <laughs> Sometimes I start the day and I'm like, to the dogs, like, we're going to whisper all day. All day we're going to whisper. By we, I mean me. And by, like, 10 o'clock, I'm like, Honda. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Um, fasting, discipline, um, something, something, something. I can't read my notes sometimes. Hi, Gail. We're going through um, Stuart Wilde's audiobook, Silent Power. Eye movement is linked to brain activity, okay? So when people, like, for example, in Shavasana, like, is the end pose, final relaxation at the end of a class, you can always tell when, like, somebody's, like, they can't close their eyes, like, they can't, you know what I mean? Like, they're not in meditation or Shavasana, whatever. I remember this one teacher would always annoy me, like, stop thinking. He would come around and tap my head, stop thinking, stop thinking. And I'm like, fuck, now I'm thinking more. <laughs> um, but also when you're talking to a person, like a, a same person, <laughs> same dude, we would work on films together. And like, I'd be talking about yoga and he'd be like, stop blinking, stop blinking. Like, do you have, do you have any idea how many times you're blinking? And I'm like, no, I feel fat right now. And I don't even want to be doing this. <laughs> I don't even notice, but blinking is thinking. Um, okay, eye movement, brain activity, simplicity, call on spirit of nature, be gracious, be responsible for your energy, trust in the great, oh, this made me cry when he said this, trust in the great goodness to keep you safe, it will. Um, yeah, he's so dope. Um, okay, so just to rewind, I mean, to recap, right brain is expansive, creative, limitless, left brain, intellect. And over the course of 100 years uh, or so, 
left hemisphere, the bicameral brain theory suggests that the split of the hemispheres and the with most people, larger left hemisphere are overgrown and uh, left and undergrown right. As a personal note for myself. Okay. Um, be interested in subtle info. Like, we have so many other things that we've decided and almost in a um, sort of funny, almost, I want to say the word pandemic. It's like a, a, a disease of thinking, but not thinking, like navigating life without awareness. So he's talking about like feeling instead of just like, yeah, you know, your hallway, you know where you're going, probably when you leave your house, your door or whatever. But instead of that, feel your way more to the places, especially the familiar ones. You know, um, he talked about looking at trees, heart chakra. Oh, this is a different video that I'm going to do, but it's significant that there are three chakras, of, well, three major energy centers above the heart chakra and three below. Um, express goodness, that helps people. Simplicity of heart equals effortless strength. Okay, and then I think I'm where I'm started. I love you guys. Yeah, it's super bad. What's up? Anybody have anything to say about Stuart Wild? Or don't talk about truth to power, speaking truth to power, or things not being in cages. Because I don't think things should be in cages, except people that are not nice to children and people that hurt animals. Those people can go in cages. Or anywhere else as far as I could care. Okay, bye then.